Hey, welcome to Peppy Post video tutorial series. This is Tibya here. Uh, you might be seeing my screen a little bit darker uh, because of the light issue in this room. But uh, okay, so we, should, we can continue with the today's tutorial. So to, the topic of today's tutorial is uh, all about one of the uh, most famous and uh, most loved open source marketing tool uh, that is Motic. So Motic is one of the uh, most used marketing automation tool, uh, which is open source, uh, having around uh, two lakh organizations using it uh, all over the globe. So it's a very good tool. Uh, you might be already using it or you might be just starting to use it. So you can share your experience with Motic below in the comments also. So today we are going to discuss about uh, how to set up cron jobs in Motic. So before uh, going into the details of uh, how to set up the cron jobs, uh, so on the screen, you can see I have written a tutorial uh, on this. So in case you don't want to listen to this video or uh, you want to read the content later, so you can go to this particular link. So you can go to pevipost.com slash tutorials and there you will find this particular blog or you can find the link below in the descriptions also. So before uh, going into the details of Motic cron jobs, uh, if you are new to cron jobs, so let me first explain you what is a cron job. So cron job is nothing but a task scheduler uh, uh, in Windows. If you are a Windows user, so there is an option uh, if there is a feature known as task scheduler. But uh, in case of Linux, it is known as cron. So basically cron or task scheduler is nothing but a lightweight software which runs at the background and has the capability to schedule a task that needs to be executed sometime in future. So let's suppose you want to run a program every day, which will send you the latest stock alerts on your email. So how you will do that? So what you can do is you can write a program which will fetch the stock value in real time and then call that program. Uh, let's suppose daily uh, morning 6 a.m. So how you will call so you can if you are a Linux user, you can just set up a cron job where you can define. Uh, so like here in this example, uh, it is written net bin extract dot sh. So here extract dot sh is a cell script, which is getting called every day at 6 a.m. morning. So you can write your script, uh, script, you can add it in the cron entry and it will automatically get executed every morning at whatever time you have defined and it will give you the results. So that is what simply a cron job is. So there is some syntax is there which you have to follow while setting the cron job. So here I have described how the syntax looks like, like the first placeholder, uh, like here uh, zero zero is written. This is the minutes at which exact minute you want to run. Second one is the hour. So like here I have written zero six. So this means at six a.m. six zero zero a.m this particular program, whatever I'm going to write here will get executed. So sometimes you have to pass the username also, like from which user you want this program to be get executed. Let's suppose you want to get it executed using the root user or your personal, uh, whatever user you have guest user. So you can write that username here. So that is a small description about this syntax. Uh, so this star star means uh, so this will get executed daily because you have not defined any day of the month or the specific month or the day of the week. So you can define all those parameters. If you are not going to define, then uh, it will get executed every day. So that's all about cron. In case you want to know more about cron, I have shared a link. Uh, so Apache has written a very good documentation on cron jobs. So you can refer that particular link from here. So next, let's come to the Motic cron jobs, which is the main objective of uh, this video. So what are Motic cron jobs? So uh, when you are using Motic platform for, let's suppose, creating your campaigns or let's suppose uh, creating your segments or you are setting rules to capture social responses. So there are a lot of things which you do on Motic, but not every data is like created or synced in the database in real time. Some requires uh, a scheduler type of program which will run at the background and keep on updating the data. So let's suppose take example, you have created a segment say um, all people in the age of 33 should get added to this particular segment. 
now daily you are uploading new new contacts to your uh, segment uh, uh, so automatically data data should get filtered out like uh, whoever are uh, following this particular rule should get filtered out and should be added into this segment so now how this will happen either you have to go on your application and click on some refresh button or there should be some refresh program which is keep on running at the background and just keep on updating the data as and when there is any changes there so that is what cron job is so motic has a provision where motic wants uh, users to set multiple crons and these are the crons which are responsible for doing different type of activities like updating the segment or uh, broadcasting of the messages or capturing the social responses in real time so all this can be done using this cron job so the first cron job uh, which i am going to discuss here so there are two types of cron here one is uh, which are required and second one which are optional so first we are going to discuss about the required cron jobs so the first one is motic segments update so this is a very important cron uh, because uh, this keeps the segment always up to date so here is a syntax uh, for this so you can copy paste from here you have to just change uh, here username and timing i have kept it every 15 minutes uh, this particular program should run similarly we have motic campaign updates so motic campaign updates uh, is all about uh, uh, segments uh, so, so like like in case of segment we are updating these segments every time so in campaigns uh, the uh, campaign data need to be updated every time so that is all about uh, the uh, campaign update next comes motic campaign triggers so this is again a very important cron uh, that needs to be executed uh, so what it does is it on the particular schedule time it triggers the campaign so here is some syntax so you will find all these syntax uh, in the documentation the link which i have shared below in the description so in this cron uh, uh, there are two parameters are there which i want to discuss here so one is the batch hyphen limit so what does this batch hyphen limit does is you can actually limit the number of contacts to be processed uh, in a batch just by replacing this x value with a number so by default this is set to 100 so it will process 100 in a batch uh, you can increase or decrease this number based upon how much resource you have to process this data second one is the max hyphen contacts uh, so what it does is uh, it's actually actually uh, you can also limit the number of contacts that need to be processed in a instance so like here in the above you are uh, controlling the batch size here you are controlling the number of contents uh, contacts to be processed in that particular batch so here just replace this y value with a number and you are all done Similarly, I have shared the other cron jobs like Motic message send is there, then Motic uh, email fetch is there, Motic uh, social monitoring is there. So you will find all these uh, in detail in my documentation. So just refer the link in case you uh, find something which is missing in this doc or uh, if you find something which is incorrect, just reply in the comment and I will make sure I have corrected those uh, things in my uh, tutorial. So hope you like this video. Uh, thank you so much.